Hey guys, we have a the JBL Flip 6 and in case your battery doesn't last very long anymore or it doesn't charge at all, then it is time to replace the battery. So this is what we're going to explain to you in this video. So we start out by removing the grill and all we need for that is a flat blade screwdriver which we wedge right into this little seam here. So we're pressing it down as far as it goes and then we're going to uh, tilt the screwdriver here to the side and that will pop off the first side of the grill. And then we're going to repeat this here on the opposite end here, right at this point. And here also we're going to push the screwdriver all the way down and then we're going to tilt it until the grill pops off. And now we have to uh, repeat this one more time here right in the center. Also still for the same side. And now the first end of the uh, grill here is all completely removed. And now we're going to do this one more time here on the opposite side, right in the center. And at this point we are able to peel off the grill. Now the next step is to remove one of the end caps. This is the one on the right, the one right by the tweeter. And these end caps are not screwed on. There's just these little tabs here that you see, these little black ones, uh, that hold the end caps in place. So all we need is a little prying tool and I'm using here this file of my Swiss Army knife. And right underneath each of those tabs you find a little gap and that's where we can push the army knife in here and you see now when I push up on the end cap then it kind of stays detached. So I'm going to hold this with my one finger and then I'm repeating the same step here on another of the tabs. Now this one has this little uh, tape on it so I need to first get in there a little bit better. But as soon as I can uh, pry this one loose then the end cap will eventually come off completely. Okay, so when you take a look inside here, we find this yellow plate, which is held in place by these small two uh, Phillips screws. So let's remove those. And as soon as we take off this plate, we already see the battery right underneath there. Now we do have two small problems to get this battery out. The first one is that the battery is sitting in there pretty snug. So that makes it a little bit tricky to remove it. And the second problem is to detach the cables that go to the motherboard. We can see this white connector that connects to the motherboard and there isn't really a whole lot of room above it to unplug this. Now we can help the battery to come out by just tapping the speaker here on a hard surface. After that we should be able to pull it out relatively easily. Now in order to unplug the battery we need to pull out the motherboard just enough so that we get some headroom here for the connector to come up. Now you can either try to pull on the wire and risking the board to be damaged or you go the safer route and remove the four screws that hold down the speaker. And as soon as we pull this out carefully, we are going to be able to see the other end of the motherboard. And from this end, we're going to be able to just push it through. Just make sure not to push the board too far because we still have these little black ribbon cables that are attached to the motherboard. We don't want to accidentally rip those off. And this now gives us just enough space to take off the connector and in order to do that we have to push on this little white lever. You can see how this lever holds onto the port here. Now eventually we can disconnect the battery completely and then pull it out of the case. Okay so then let's have a look at the label here so we can find the replacement for it and if I do find a replacement online I'm going to post the link in the comment section below. Then we can already start to reassemble everything when you do install the new battery, make sure that it is sitting in there really snug. If it is moving around just a little bit, then this would cause the battery to vibrate when you're using the speaker and you may be able to hear this, so uh, the sound may be not be as good as it used to be. So make sure that it is sitting in there real snug. And now after we have reconnected the battery, we can push everything back in here, also the uh, motherboard, as you can see here. In case you did remove the driver just like I did here, we can install this also, make sure the wires are routed in the same way that they, they used to be originally. See this, uh, the big ones that go to the driver, they go uh, on the bottom of the speaker. And also make sure that this foam tape that we have at this one end is not going underneath here so that it's not wedged in there. Make sure to, to make sure to pull it out first. And before we put in the screws, we also check that the holes are nicely aligned. Otherwise the screws may not go in straight. Then next we're going to reinstall this little yellow plate again. Remember the two small Phillips screws. 
Make sure not to over tighten those since we're screwing them right into a little piece of plastic and that may just break internally. Now the next step is to put the end caps back on. In case you took off both end caps then the one that has the R on it, that one goes to the side with the tweeter. Now in order to align this correctly we're going to take at these little notches here. You have a big notch and a small notch and you just align the big notch here with the uh, bigger tab that you see here right by the tweeter. And if we align the end cap right it will go on real easily. Okay so now we're already at the last step. We have to put the grill back on. First I'm making sure that the button panels are on the right side here. You see the uh, buttons on the speaker and then the buttons on the grill. So align those correctly. And as we are pushing the grill over the speaker we are going to also pull through the lanyard that this is not in the way. And we're going to start pressing the grill onto the housing and we're working our way around until we are at the other end. Press everything on firmly and then we're going to do a last test here to see if it powers back up. And you see here battery is fully charged, turns back on and we're good to go. Okay so that was it for this video, I hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below.